Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday today. Yesterday I said it was Friday on my video. I don't know what day it is anymore, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm half awake. I was up all night. I think I went to bed at 5.30. Could not sleep because after I posted um, my video yesterday about the somewhat good news, mostly good news about Grant and what the radiologist said about the CT scan um, and that we got an er uh, a quick appointment to get him in for um, surgery to get those bumps removed. I noticed he was squinting in his, oh, what eye would that be? His right eye. And he was pawing at it with the side of his arm. Not his actual paw, but his side of his arm. Just a little bit above his paw. He was pawing at his eye. And I was thinking, what is going on? Look at him just standing in the sun. <laughs> Usually over there, the sun hits that part of the yard really good in the morning. And since it rained almost all day yesterday, that's probably a little drier. So that's why they're all over there. And it looks like Milo's eating grass this morning. <laughs> Here's Mozzie. Miggy and Mr. Grant are still in bed. I got them up about 4 in the morning. Um, sent them all outside to do their business. and got Grant up to check his eye. And it looked worse. It was kind of crusty too. So I got a warm washcloth. Uh, went to clean his eye and he growled at me actually. So... I don't know if it was because he was half asleep or because I it hurt. It was if it was tender. Um, so a lot of you, I posted on Facebook like at four in the morning, and a lot of you mentioned a corneal ulcer, like from a scratch on the eye, on the cornea. Um, allergies. I would think if it's allergies, wouldn't it affect both eyes? I don't know. I've never had a dog have problems with their eyes like that. The kitten has problems with his eyes, but. Kittens are a little bit different, just drainage. Um, so I don't know. Could be allergies. Someone mentioned, what else did someone mention? Pink eye. I didn't know dogs could get pink eye. So I'm not sure. My husband just texted me. He called the vet and we're going in at 1145. No, 1140. Um, to have his eye checked out. So, um, yeah, so we will find out then. So much for me switching vets. I have not switched to, uh, yet. <laughs> I do know a vet. I'm going to call um, tomorrow morning, finally. Gotten some referrals. Read a lot of reviews. Um, but I need to go to my old vet for this for now. Because they can get me in ASAP. Um, so we will see what they say. And I will let you guys know. Yes, Miggy and Grant are still snoozing. I've already fed everybody about 7 this morning. Um, laid down for about an hour. So I've had about an hour and a half of sleep. <laughs> when I'm worried, I can't sleep. No, I can't get a uh, mozzie. So we were up at 4 o'clock. Everybody went out. We were all in the front room, sitting in the recliner. Um... Grant seems, Grant seems fine besides his eye. So, um, hopefully it's, it's nothing. Maybe he'll need a couple eye drops, you know, during the day and he'll be fine. Let's, let's pray. Um, so after we go to the vet, I will let you guys know what they say. Look at that guys. I don't know if you can see the rain. Can you see it coming down? I think you can see it. We got home just in time. Uh, you almost tripped me, Magna. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You trying to hurt your mom? <laughs> we got back from the vet with Mr. Grant just in time to let the boys run outside, do their business before it started raining. Oh my goodness. Yes. You guys got to go out right before the downpour. Yes. Yes, where's Mr. Grant? Where's Mr. Grant? Um, oh, there he is. He's right there. So Mr. Grant has a corneal ulcer. 
So something, some kind of trauma, something got in his eye, something happened uh, to cause this corneal, corneal ulcer. I keep wanting to say hernia. I don't know why. <laughs> um, not sure. I didn't notice him um, run into anything. Um, let's see if he turns around so you can see. See how he's squinting with that right eye? Um, she said it's very good that since we just noticed it later in the afternoon yesterday, it was very good that we got him in today. So, he, uh, because they are very painful, she said. So, Magnum, Magnum, leave him alone. He's having issues today. He don't want you sniffing his booty. Um, so he, um, has three different drops I have to put in his eye. He has this um, antibiotic drop. I believe this is four times a day. Um, oh, I don't have my glasses on. I think she said it's four times a day. And then he has this serum. It's frozen right now. I've got to let it thaw out. They only It was frozen and I got to keep it in the fridge. Um, this helps promote healing. And then I've got to go to Meyer Pharmacy and um, get this pain uh, eye drops for pain filled. She said usually they'll give them some kind of steroidal um, eye drop for pain, but since his liver enzymes, look at Magnum just sniffing him up and down because he was at the vet, just checking, and they've all been checking out his eye, sniffing his eye. Um, but because of his liver enzymes being high, do the gallbladder thing and all that, she didn't want to prescribe those type of pain pills. And they didn't have those at the vet. They were out. So she just said, take this to our pharmacy and they'll be able to fill it there. So I got to go do that after the downpour goes by. <laughs> she said I should give him it at night because it will dilate the pain. One, the pain, the eye drop for pain. I'm sorry, I can't speak because I'm still like so tired. Um will dilate it and I should give it to him at night. Um, so that way, um, during the day and stuff, it won't be so dilated when he, when he gets it. So, um, and I have to wait between each eye drop I give him. Um, like when I give him these four times a day, I have to wait five minutes in between each different one of applying it to his eye. So I don't know how many eye drops go in the eye. Um, I'll have to look this over and figure it out when I have glasses on because I can't see. <laughs> I can't see without them. Those little, that little print. So, we got a little squirrely over here. Come to eat lunch. He's just coming to eat his lunch, Magnum. 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 <laughs> He's just eating his lunch. Be quiet. He just wants a little snack. So yeah, she said it should, um, usually they heal up within three to five days, possibly seven. She wants to see him back in five days to recheck it. So I've already got a uh, appointment scheduled for that. Cause I asked her, I said, now he has surgery May 18th to have some bumps removed. <laughs> Is this going to interfere? And she said, nope, this should the latest seven days. Um, so she's going to see him, uh, in five days to check it out, recheck it and all that. And she said he should be good to go for his surgery on May 18th. She said, boy, Mr. Grant sure can't catch a break, Kenny. <laughs> said, you are so right, it seems like. And I've had a couple of people comment, seems like your dogs are so sickly. You're always going to the vet. Are you just going to the vet just to keep getting them on pills and pills and pills? No, I'm taking them to the vet because they need to see a doctor because they have something wrong. <laughs> And my dogs aren't sickly. Um, my dogs are mini schnauzers. And if you Google mini schnauzers and health issues, mini schnauzers are prone to a lot of different things. And that's mainly besides the corneal ulcer that can happen to any dog. Um, mini schnauzers are prone to many things. And what my dogs usually go through are things that mini schnauzers are prone to. Um, and it's very common health issues, pancreatitis, gallbladder issues. Um, even Max's um, FEC 
I'll tape the name, the exact name of what happened, his spinal stroke. I call it a spinal stroke. Um, I'll tape it on the screen. That, if you research it, says that many schnauzers are known for that too. So, um, and I've had a lot of people from my video uh, that I posted about Max's FEC um, that have reached out to me that have happened to their mini schnauzers too. And so I have seven mini schnauzers. So I'm going to be going through, um, unfortunately, many of the things that mini schnauzers are prone to. Uh, that's just, that's, I mean, when you have seven dogs, something's going to come up. And I have five dogs who are of senior, they are considered seniors now, senior citizens. Uh, so, um, it's not that my dogs are just unhealthy and I don't take care of them far from it. Um, if I could just take my dogs for just normal preventative care and they were good all the rest of the time. Oh, I'd be so happy. I'd be so thrilled. Yes, I would. <laughs> It'd be wonderful, but things come up, especially with seven dogs. So Mr. Grant is going to get his eye drops. We're going to make sure he gets those in. Um, when he needs them and he's going to be better here within hopefully less than a week. If it was three days, oh, I'd be, I'd be ecstatic because I feel so bad for him because I could tell, oh, Mickey, <laughs> you're hitting my phone, Mickey. No, no. I could tell when I was up about four in the morning and he had some crud around his eye and I got a warm washcloth and wanted to clean it up for him. He growled at me. I could tell it was really bothering him and he just, he hasn't really been, his normal self. He's been very cranky today. <laughs> very cranky. Um, usually he's only cranky when you want to pick him up, bathe him, or groom him. But he's pretty, been pretty cranky. Me, Stop sniffing his butt, Max. Max, stop. <laughs> Why is everybody so interested in Mr. Grant's butt today? <laughs> um, yeah, he's been pretty cranky. These boys are just going to, and I'm surprised he's being so relaxed with them, just sniffing all him up and down, especially his eye. I guess they're just going to keep sniffing his booty today. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to get going. Um, I'm going to wait for this rain to slow down, which it looks like it is already. It's supposed to go through pretty fast. Um, I've got to run to the pharmacy, and then I'm going to come home, and I'm going to go to bed for a while. Yes, I am, and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. I am so tired. I think I've had about two and a half hours. I think I, I don't remember what I said earlier. I think I've had about two and a half, three hours of sleep uh, last night. And um, now I can kind of take a deep breath. I know he's going to be okay. And um, we'll get through this. So, all right, guys, I will let you guys go. I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend. Um, I hope all of you moms out there have a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, and we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.